And welcome back. Well, we are less than two weeks from the November election and there's a certainty. Uh, there's certainly a lot of anxiety about the voting process and who's going to win. So joining us now with the results of a new poll of likely voters age 50 plus is Sam Wilson, the state director of AARP Wisconsin. Good morning to you, Sam. Hey, good morning. It's great to be here with you. Thanks for joining me. I, I think that's an understatement, right? That there's a lot of um, concern about what's going on with this election and, and people are really nervous about so many different things. So less than two weeks away, let's talk about the survey that you guys did. This was based on 50 plus voters. What did you find from your survey? Well, just like everything else in 2020, everything about this election cycle is different. And what we found out from voters is that they have a lot of concern about their own personal safety as well as the issues. AARP back in August started a campaign called Protect Voters 50 Plus. And as part of that campaign, we wanted to make sure people both were able to express their opinions on the issues that are important to them, to candidates, but also make sure they had the information they needed, whether they wanted to vote absentee at home, whether they wanted to do in-person early absentee or voting at the polls on election day. So we really have a very unique campaign this year to match a very unique 2020. Well, it's so interesting. My mom, who's in her 70s, is usually an election judge. And this year, because of coronavirus, she's mm -hmm. not going to do it in our hometown. And so I wonder what your poll has, say, has said about the anxiety around coronavirus for voters who are 50 plus. <laughs> We did actually did two tracking polls. So we had one poll in September and one October, and it is very apparent with the 50 plus population that the anxiety around coronavirus is increasing. We saw that in the September poll and we saw it increase in the October poll. Commensurate with that, we also saw an uptick in people who said they were going to be voting absentee uh, from when we asked them in September and in October. So there is a concern. People understand uh, that safety is a priority in 2020. So they're looking at their options. And that's one of the ways AERP is trying to provide that information because people, they may have been voting for the last 50 years and never ever thought about voting absentee. And now all of a sudden that's top of mind for them. So it's important people have the information they need to, to vote safely in 2020. So important. And, you know, our family is not a, a, an argument family. We like having conversations even when we disagree. But I'm very interested to hear what your survey, survey says about the, the 50 plus demographic and the issues that are most important to them, because I do think it's different when you're 50 plus. It really is. And our survey really shows that the issues continue to be of importance. We're all talking about coronavirus. We all want to know when a vaccine is going to be available. We all understand that that is ever present in our lives. But the 50 plus also expect that the candidates are going to talk about issues like retirement security and social security. They want to have them talk about their long range vision for Medicare. They want to talk, they want the candidates to talk about how they're keeping their loved ones safe in nursing homes and providing more and different and diverse long-term care options. So I, I think the uniqueness of the 50 plus population is twofold. One, they really expect candidates to continue to talk about the issues that matter to them in their lives in addition to COVID-19 issues. Second of all, they have made it very apparent that they are gonna show up to vote. We have in our surveys, roughly 93% of all of those surveyed said they're very likely to vote. If you then calculate the somewhat likely, then it's another 5%. You're talking almost 98% of our 50 plus population that we surveyed said they were gonna show up to vote. So we know the 50 plus is always the largest, largest voting block in every election. 2020 is not going to be any different. Yeah, it was it was very apparent last night when you watched the debate that Medicare and Social Security were definitely hot button issues and very important. Is it because do you think that the 50 plus population could tip the scales in this election? What are you seeing? You know, the traditionally you have sort of a 50 50 split mm -hmm. amongst older voters and particularly amongst those 65 and older there is starting to see some imbalance and that really is related to where the issues are standing on the important issues to them. Again, to reiterate, Social Security, Medicare, uh, cost of prescription drugs was also mentioned last night yeah. in the debate. That continues to be a huge issue for those 65 plus. So as I said, they're, they're really keen to what the candidates are saying, not just how they're saying it or some of the bluster that we hear during the debates. So I, I, I really do think the candidates have to make in their final sales pitch to all the voters, 
to get the older voter listening and to get them onto their platform, they're going to have to talk about those issues. I, I think it's true, and I hope that the candidates listen. They're in the same age category, so you know, I, you would you would hope that there there's some empathy there for that age category as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're almost out of time, Sam, but I want you to hit how do you va uh, vote safely, and where can we go to find accurate information that is not just misinformation, which is sometimes on social media. We have created a fabulous landing page and a website for people to get the information they need to know how to vote safely in 2020. They can go to aarp.org slash WIVotes. That's aarp.org slash WIVotes. There you're going to have all the information on whether you need to register, whether you need to request an absentee ballot, or how to protect yourself if you're going to show up on the polls on election day. So we hope people will visit that site and also get some of the information on the issues that really do impact the 50 plus population. Absolutely. An important year. Thank you for joining us, Sam. Thanks for having us again. Absolutely. That website again is aarp.org slash WIVotes.